Hello, viewers and viewettes. We have here on display an Emerson CKS1702 digital AM FM clock radio. This is a very interesting product for some reasons, as you'll see when we plug it in. It automatically sets itself to the correct time. It's pretty interesting. And as we can see, it is made in La China. It conforms to some sorts of NCUL standard. I'm not sure what exactly that is, but perhaps you can see, you can tell me. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to plug this thing in so you can see just how it sets the time now. Where's my cord? Here's the cord. Okay. Now, this is an unusually long cord. I, I wonder, actually, if it doubles as an FM antenna. I, I never really used the radio on this thing, so never got to experience it. Okay, you got caught up here. Yeah, I have a ton of cords. But we're going to do this anyway. So here we go. <laughs> it's pretty dusty. It's been staying in my... Okay. Now pay attention to the display here. Okay. I need to set the year for some reason. I, I don't know I don't know why I didn't. Sorry, I'm just setting this up. Okay, now, now we're good. Okay. Yeah, for some reason the date got moved, and I don't know how that happened. It doesn't matter, but... Anyway, let's... This thing is interesting. As you can see, it set the time on its own. It has a name of from radio, but strangely, the tuner, the frequency that you tune with, are right here. I don't know why they couldn't have made a digital display. It's, it's pretty interesting, though, because the display in and of itself, as you can see, is, is pretty large. So, what we're going to do now is, we got it on FM, we're going to turn on the radio, we're going to go forward through the FM band, then we're going to go backwards through the AM band, so you can see how it sounds. So, here goes. Okay, so we're on FM, we're going to go forward. Oh, I mean, it's all right, but I wasn't even gonna ask him. Okay. Seemed extremely unlikely. Okay, so now we're on F1. Hi and welcome to 
Welcome to an informed life radio on 1160. Hmm. So that, that's about it. Apparently, you can rotate the radio and you can get good AM reception and this FM reception. It wasn't quite the best. I, I wonder if perhaps if I change the antenna and if it wasn't around the table wrapped like it is now, that probably would be better. But the alarm, surprisingly this thing, considering I haven't used it for quite a few years now, it's held up pretty well. Uh, what we're going to do right now is this thing is set to wake the buzzer. We're going to set the alarm for you to hear. It's, it's 2.07 now. So we're going to set the alarm for 2.10 p.m. Let's set the time. Setting the alarm is what I'm doing. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the box and the user manual, but from what I do remember reading the manual, the alarm is supposed to get louder, but for whatever reason, in my experience, that never happened. But perhaps, perhaps it's just a false claim or error on the manufacturer, the improper product. But either way, we will demonstrate what the buzzer sounds like in to oh, well, we got the wrong time zone. That wasn't called for. Okay, there we go. So it's a 2.08 p.m. now. The alarm is set for 2.10 p.m. So when it does go off, you will hear the sound of the buzzer. We're going to let it sound off for about 10 seconds. So you can hear what it sounds like. This thing... I think Emerson made quite a few of these models, from what I remember, like... But what really surprises me is that this alarm is not a dual alarm. However, it does have all the same features, like you can set it different alarm modes. Which I think is pretty cool, you hold on the alarm button and see you can do 1-5. And now you forgot how to... Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to get up here because it's pretty loud. And I will be in when the alarm goes off. I'm just waiting for the alarm to go off. That's what we're doing. It's pretty loud, so I stepped outside. Up, oh, here we go. And to turn it off, we can just press the radio off button. Like so. And when you do press that button, it resets the alarm for the next day and it does have a snooze feature, which I believe is nine minutes. And this is another surprising caveat of their smart sets. It does take us nine minutes snooze, just like the other uh, dual alarm models. However, it only, it goes for an hour. And most single alarm units that I know from my experience are two hours. So I hope you like it. So this has been a overview checkout of the Emerson CKS1702 clock radio with smart set technology. I'll see you in the next video.